It's September the 18th this evening. We're back in a new spot. And I know that sounds familiar, but we've literally been jumping around to new spot, to new spot, to new spot, trying to dial in one of these good bucks. So this one brings us to a spot we call the cut. Nobody's hunted here yet this year. We've never hunted it. We've ran cameras in here years prior. Just haven't had something worth going after until this year. We picked up three really, really good deer in here. One's a giant. And he just has not been in here very consistent at all, either at the other two. We left about a week ago. And when we left, the camera in here died. And so we had no intel for about five days. When we got back here, we came in, put new batteries in the camera. First night, one of the big 10 pointers was in here probably about 9.30. And then last night, he was in here broad daylight. So last night, a little later in the evening, we had a new buck show up, another shooter. And uh, so we had, we had to come in here, we got a perfect win for this spot. South wind, we've been waiting on it all week. So we're in here hoping for the best. It's going on about 7.15 here tonight. The action's just starting to pick up. We've seen a doe about a half hour ago and then she ended up a fawn better. They kind of, they're out about two, 300 yards. They slipped into the marsh and then about uh, three or four minutes ago, we just laid eyes on another doe and two fawns that look like they're working our way, coming across the long grass, so feels good. Wind's just starting to lay down a little bit. I think I'd like to have it just a little more, but deer obviously moving. We're just going to need need the big one to do, do the dance, so got plenty of time. We got just under well, about an hour till dark, I'd say. That's a wrap on another night. Another one where we thought we had a pretty good shot at it. Turns out you can see 15 deer in an evening sit. Not a shooter. So, back to the drawing board. <laughs> back, to, back to the same spot we sat last night. Because guess what? Once again, we zigged, they zagged. Two of them daylighted tonight where we were last night. We sat where the one daylighted last night and didn't tonight. It was really starting to scratch my head, but. <laughs> starting to scratch my nuts. <laughs> well, I wish they would just scratch their nuts and drag them right <laughs> to us, but it ain't working.
Okay. All right. Night, night. <laughs> we out. September the 19th tonight, North Dakota. We have been out here for going on about six days here on this second trip of the year. And we have been playing what you call cat and mouse with these deer. Pretty good, actually. Um, we are back in a spot we call Oscar Meyer. This is a spot that Brennan killed about 11, 12 days ago, something like that. It's a spot we sat a couple nights ago. We're in here after a few deer, one glizzy, real tall, tight rack deer that was in here the night Brennan killed. And then there's three or four other shooters in here as well. Half pine, he's just got a real nice one side. The other one, he's just got a club. There's an eight in here that just stripped velvet here within the last day. Just, I mean, there's a couple other deer. It's just uh, been one of them deals that every time that we stroll into the blind, they seem to hang back. And then every night we're not in here, they seem to daylight. Well, it is going on about 7.38 right now. They got about just under a half hour right at it, probably left a shooting light. And uh, it's been a slow evening so far, but that was to be expected. Usually in this spot, we don't get movement until that lasts like 15, 20 minutes. And it seems like they, they roll in, so still got our hopes high. We're optimistic that uh, one of these good box is going to mess up tonight. Feels pretty darn good. Temps have finally dropped off a little bit. And the wind's been dead calm all, all evening, so we should see something here shortly. That is a wrap on trip number two out here. Got real close tonight. We didn't have movement till later than we were expecting. 
and that is key out here I, I still believe that if you can get some deer in early them bigger bucks they usually will get on their feet just a touch early we had one of the shooters come in but he was probably five minutes too late by the time he got to us I opted to to pass up the opportunity once again and uh, just just too dark I don't want to take take the chance and so we got to sit there and, and watch him for probably 15 minutes and he was at like 13 yards a bunch of other deer came in so good thing is we've seen one uh, we didn't get skunked uh, ended the trip in a good way um, we'll be back it's looking like sometime next week there's a cold front pushing in this weekend but we got to run to Illinois, Iowa, get all our cameras set up down there and be ready for that, those seasons to open October 1. So we're gonna go down there, take care of all that stuff, and then hopefully be back up here early to midweek next week. Probably give it one more go for three, four, five days, and then we're gonna head west for Muley. So that's the plan. We are not out of the game yet early season. We're gonna come back, give it one more stint and if uh nothing produces then obviously we still have late season so not scared can't get down on it we're we're in the game we're around deer it's just we gotta get lucky and right now the luck is not on our side so we're gonna go get some other stuff done and come back